Hey guys, welcome to today's workout. We're gonna kinda slow it down a little bit today. So today's workout's not gonna be all that intense in comparison to what we've been doing. Cause I'm gonna show you some new exercises so that the next time that we do it, we can move through it a little bit quicker and get a better burn. So we are gonna start with our Mr. Faithful push-up and then we're gonna stand up and do some different things that I'll show you after we do 20 push-ups here. Okay, so let's get started and get down and get your chest off the roll of toilet paper for 20 reps. Here we go, nice and deep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, and there's 20. All right, now what I want you to do is I want you to choose a weight that you um, typically do for your shoulder presses, and then I want you to try to go down a level from that. So I'm gonna choose my tens, and what I'm gonna show you today is called a dumbbell row tricep kickback combination. So what it's gonna look like is this, you're gonna put we're gonna start with your left hands on top of your chair. You're gonna drop your right foot back, okay? Notice how my back's kind of nice and flat. My spine's almost parallel to the floor. You're gonna hold the weight in your right hand and you're going to lift your elbow up above the level of your spine and then kick your arm straight back and then reverse that whole motion. So elbow up high, kick it back, back down through. Elbow high, kick back, back down through. Now, pardon me, I don't mean to stick my butt in your face, but I'm gonna turn so you can see it from this side. So it's elbow right along your side, and then straight back, and then back down. Elbow up, straight back, and then back down through. So let's do 10 on this side. We're gonna switch and do 10 on the other side. So I want you to start with your left hand up on your chair, drop your right back. Your back should be nice and flat, and here we go. Let's go ahead and row it up, kick it back, one. Two, exhale when you kick your arm back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, up high, kick it back, there's 10. Now, if that was too much, too easy, go ahead and play around with the weight that you feel comfortable with. But we're gonna switch it up. Now, right hand goes on your chair. Your left foot is dropped back, all right? And same thing applies. Now we're just gonna lift it up, kick it back. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, straight up, straight back, and there it is. Now you probably really noticed if you had a good weight, you'll feel that working in your tricep. It's an excellent exercise to isolate and target your tricep. All right, now we're gonna go through and do a combination of a lunge into a shoulder press. So I really want you to start this exercise with the lowest weights that you have. So if you have fives, maybe even threes for ladies out there, um, but at least I want you to grab fives. That's what I'm gonna start with, just so you feel comfortable with starting this thing. Okay, so let's begin by getting in our lunge positions, uncomfortably wide, right foot out in front, left foot back, but again, uncomfortably wide. I'm gonna have you put your arms in shoulder press positions, okay, right like this. You're gonna hold them there, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop the left knee down, and when you stand up, you're gonna press up. So it's down, up, press. Down, up, and press, just like that. We're gonna do 10 of those on the right side, and then I'm gonna switch it and do 10 on the left. So make sure that you have a lightweight, something that you can comfortably do this to practice with. Okay, so right foot out in front, arms at your shoulders. All right, drop that knee, here we go. Down, up, one. Two, three, four, five. Get your knee down as low as you can. Six, 
Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10, okay, I hope you were able to do that all right. Let's go ahead and switch up sides, left foot out in front, right foot uncomfortably wide behind. 90-90 in your armpits and elbows. Here we go, drop it down, stand up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, very good. Okay, so you have a little bit of a, of a base now as to where you feel comfortable with your weight, so maybe the next set you can upgrade or downgrade. Let's go one more time through all of that. So let's get back down, do our 20 push-ups, and then we'll do one more set of our row and then the lunge. All right, get shoulder width and give me a deep chest. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, one more, give me a good one, and up for 20. Okay, now we're gonna do the row into the kickback. So grab your weight that you're comfortable with, left hand on your chair, right foot back, give me a nice flat back, and here we go, straight up, straight back, one, two, get your elbow high, now that's the key on this one. Three, engage your back, then your tricep. Four, five, six, straight up, seven, eight, nine, one more good one, elbow high, kick it back, there's 10. Let's switch it up now, left, or I'm sorry, your right hand up on the chair, right foot back, and let's get a high left elbow, and then back for the kick back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and last one, come on, up high, kick it straight back, there's a good one, okay. Now go ahead and pick weights that you're comfortable again with to do the lunge, stand, and press, and let's do 10 on each side to finish it up here. Right foot out in front, left foot back, take a deep breath in for me. Out through your mouth, one more time, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. All right, let's get your arms up, so you're 90-90, and let's go down, up, one. Two, remember keep your knee, three, over top of your ankle now, come on, four, good form, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's ten, good, let's switch up, left foot out in front, right foot uncomfortably wide, arms up, get the deep knee, straight up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there's your ten. Whew, it doesn't matter how many times you do those things, those lines always get your heart rate up. Great job, now you have a little bit of an understanding and foundation for those exercises. So as we start incorporating them in, we can move through that a little faster so we don't take so much time explaining. I'll see you guys again next time, bye-bye.